we found Bruce. He's gotten himself stuck. Little darling, it's okay. Hi, my name is Beth. And my name's Mike. And we have two little boys, Brucey and Ralph. Bruce is the most lovable cat. He is just full of love and cuddles and he is also very curious, quite naughty. I think he's probably used up about five of his nine lives already that we know of. He's constantly falling off of high places. Yeah. Um, he's got terrible grip for a cat <laughs> um, and never lands on his feet. So about a week ago, we realised that Bruce wasn't home for breakfast, which was really unlike him. Um, he loves his breakfast. Never he misses it. <laughs> never misses it, and he's usually home between about 4 and 6 a.m. Um, so we started to panic. What we did realise, thank God, is that we established his route through the pet tracer and knew that he tends to like to go along the canal. So we followed the route of the pet tracer and lo and behold, there he was. He'd, he'd got himself into the canal. He'd fallen in uh, during the night at some point. Um, thankfully, uh, there was a little ledge that he got himself onto so he didn't drown. And um, yeah, we needed to find a way of getting him out, mm -hmm. um, which was going in and getting him because you, there was no way of climbing along the ledge. And I got into the canal by climbing down a big ladder, um, but the, it, you couldn't touch the floor. It was so deep. Because my initial plan was to pick him up passing up to mum but that wasn't going to work so we found these little life rings and uh, we made a boat for him and um, then managed to get him to safety so yeah we were very lucky um, if we didn't have the pet tracer I don't know we wouldn't have known where he was I, mean, I think he was probably out there for about six hours anyway as it was um, so if we'd have left him any longer or if we just weren't able to find him then I, I dread to think what would have happened to him mm -hmm. Um, so our boys love to come on walks with us, so at the start of lockdown we used to go for our once a day walks and the boys used to follow and we used to walk for miles and miles, um, go through all the forests, go across the fields together and I think that was what made us want to buy a tracker. We just wanted to make sure that they were okay because if they got lost or hurt, you know, it's such a big area, we just wouldn't know where to find them. So and curiosity. Yeah. We wanted to know what they were up to at night. Um, so we decided to go for the pet tracer because um, we compared lots of other collars but we really liked this one because it was um, very lightweight, it wasn't bulky, our boys are very small so I didn't want anything that was going to be really heavy um, on, their, on their necks and also we liked the fact that it had a breakthrough mechanism because we know that they like to climb up really high on trees so we didn't want them to get caught on the branches, we knew that they would be safe. So since getting the pet tracer, um, we've learned quite a bit about the boys. Um, we found that they actually have sort of normal routes that they take throughout the evening and it's pretty much nearly the same every night, although occasionally they do go off the beaten path, especially Ralph. So this is where um, Bruce fell in. Uh, we're not sure exactly where he fell, but um, he must have fallen into the water. And as you can see there, there's the little ledge. Um, now before that, water was higher up so before when I was in there with the rubber ring you can see from the video I, I just kind of can reach up and bring him to me but there I'd have probably had to stand up and before I couldn't touch the ground either so I had to properly swim through and get him and as you can see it's it's pretty grim down there um, probably broken glass bottles um, and it was cold 